Having worked on deck house for over 30 years, I've had the privilege to be involved with upgrades, changes, and, and overall improvements for the construction of deck house. The most common deck house repairs that are needed, I would say, are roofs, windows, doors, and decks. Repairing a deck house roof is unlike any other conventional roof. It's a solid roof system, meaning you're not venting it. So a lot of people make a lot of mistakes with the deck house roof because they treat it as a, as a conventional roof system. Like they, they do it, they shingle over a layer of shingles, which is no good because now you've overheated the roof system. And, you know, and people use the wrong insulation. Um, they use the wrong materials. I mean, it's just, it's just a number of things that they do wrong on these deck house roofs. So it's just so important um, that you have a deck house contractor, someone who just understands these deck house roofs. Otherwise, they can, you're just wasting your money. Typically why I replace windows and doors is because um, a lot of the old deck houses have single pane glass um, or they have insulated glass with seal failures. Uh, but the nice part about that is I don't have to deal with the frames at all. It's just a matter of taking the, the glass itself out, putting new glass in, and even put the old stops back on over it. So it's, it's, it's somewhat cost effective. Every, every so often we'll find some rot damage in the, in the windows and the frames. And sometimes we'll have to replace the whole window or we can do a portion of the window. But that's just, it's not, a, it's not something that happens that often. Uh, this is probably uh, the thing we get the most calls on is repairing decks. Um, and you typically find rot pretty much all of the deck, which could be um, the soldiers of the railings, which, which are attached to the beams. Um, you just got the deck in general. The decking itself, the 3x6 decking, is, is always going to show rot. Um, there's uh, a heat stool on the inside of the house. When you see the, the uh, heat stool out of level, that's kind of showing that there's rot in the post between the two sliders. And, and it's always the two middle beams that typically um, have the rot and that we end up having to repair all the material beneath the sliders. And the reason why all of these uh, areas typically become rotted is because um, there's a lack of flashing. As far as maintenance goes, there are several steps homeowners should take to maintain their deck house. Uh, I mean, one, one of the major ones for me is just an annual pest control. Just get somebody to come out to spray the foundation because um, deck houses just have, I mean, they're just all wood. The ants just love the wood that's in deck houses. Um, and another area that, that I, I feel as though people completely are lacking is just regular staining. I, I just think they should have like a schedule with their painter, whoever it may be, and just say, you know, every you know, three or four years, five years, I want, I want the, these sections of the house stained, which could be the west side or the north side. But as far as the southern portion of the house, I would have that done every couple years regardless. Because um, if you don't want to see me back repairing rod all the time, you're going to want to see the painter just to keep the maintenance going, which I think is a great idea. Probably the best thing I could say is just let the house breathe. Um, you, know, you, you, know, you, you want to keep like mulch away from the wood so it's not touching its siding. Um, you want to keep trees away. You don't want them overhanging over your roof because the ants fall down, they get on the shingles, and, and guess where they're, they're going? They're heading in. Um, and then there's just wood piles. If you, you, know, if you're, you know, have a wood burning stove, just keep the wood out in the woods 100 feet away from the house. Um, and then my, my biggest and favorite one is grape arbors. Uh, I mean, I love these decks where these people have these beautiful grape arbors on their deck and within 10 years the whole deck's ready to fall off and it's just because it's just crowded and, it, and no sun gets in, the moisture can't get out and everything just kind of falls apart. Um, so I'd say the moral of the story is to just let the house breathe. The two major updates deck house home will call about typically are um, kitchens and the baths that I see now uh, and there's just so many things that they can do with the kitchens and the baths today and it just and I think that's where I see them get most excited um, is with those two specifically but there's a lot of other things um, that are included in that list too which would be like just interior trim just the upgrade on that um, we cover roof beams now which is a big thing too um, you know we, we, we uh, close in a lot of old screen porches and just make them a, a year-round room um, which just seems to be a big area that that we see happening now, uh, and, the, and the list just goes on. But I'd say definitely the two major things that I see is, is our kitchens and baths today. To increase the energy efficiency in your deck house, I would highly recommend a couple of areas, um, one being your windows. I would say, uh, you know, deck house has a lot of single pane glass in the house, so I would start with 
replacing all the fixed glass um, with insulated glass. And another area then would be your, you have these um, metal hope sash for your casement windows. I would replace those with mahogany retro windows. And then you have these aluminum sliders, which I would recommend replacing with the uh, mahogany retro slider. And the other area that I think would, would be a good area to improve um, if your roof needed to be um, re-roofed, that would be a time you could add insulation to your roof and at the same time you could um, upgrade your lighting and you could remove all the old Wasco skylights and put in the Velux skylights. I think those would be the two biggest areas that you could really add to the efficiency of your home. Having worked on deck houses for 30 years, um, my best recommendation um, for deck house homeowners from a builder's standpoint is just maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Um, and just let your house breathe because uh, deck house has great quality materials and I just know if you just take care of it and maintain it, it'll, uh, it, it'll last a long time. Um, so hopefully this has been some help to you. I uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, God bless you.